Ah, it's hot. Anyway, I thought before I'd finish uh, today's videos, I would answer this or share my thoughts with this one topic. Uh, when I was young, I, I read somewhere that uh, if you're a creative mind, you'll have a messy desk, you'll have a messy room, you'll have messy handwriting, you know. The more creative you are, the more messy it is. So I developed a fascination to make sure that I was messy. <sighs> the logic being, if I'm messy, that means I'm creative. So when my desk was filled with papers, tissue, uh, keyboard, you know, the keyboard with my plates and books and pens and papers and everything, I was like, oh, I'm creative. That's why it's messy. I would never actually take the time to clear it up because I felt, man, you know, they say you're a genius. Okay, I'm a genius. So I assumed by making it messy, I would be more creative. Even my handwriting, I was like, my handwriting is, you know, uh, messy because I'm smart. So, you know, we have this confirmation bias. Confirmation bias is a human nature whereby uh, we will cherry pick. Cherry pick means we will choose. Okay, what explanation suits me? What makes me happy? Like, for example, speak to any Muslim, he will say, which religion is true? He'll say Islam is true. You speak to any Hindu and ask him which religion is true, he'll say Hinduism. You speak to any Christian, ask him which religion is true, he'll say Catholicism or being a Catholic or, you know, Christianity. So for a Muslim, Islam is true. For a Hindu, Hinduism is true. For a Christian, Christianity is true. And if you ask them to embrace the other religion or endorse the other religion and choose, not choose their own, they would say no. So this confirmation bias, they'll always choose the reasons to support their religion. And uh, they will give examples. Law, you know, in the, on this YouTube channel, uh, they found out miracles happening because a person read the Quran. A Christian will say someone went to the Lady of Lourdes or the, you know, Mother Mary appeared for these people. The funny thing is, uh, these miracles... For example, when a Christian tells me there was this Christian miracle, it's always endorsed by a Christian channel written by a Christian author or a Christian follower. Uh, the Christian miracle is never reported by a Muslim channel or a Muslim miracle or a miracle by Prophet Muhammad or by Allah is not reported by a Hindu channel. So you can see what I'm getting at. So it's always confirmation bias. It's always the people like, I'm good. Why? My group is good. Why? And they'll give you the reasons. Okay. So, um, th th this has been happening all throughout where people actually like to choose what supports them. So, I was always looking into these, this kind of confirmation bias. I am a genius because of this. Okay. Now, this went on when I was young. But today, if you actually look at it, at the age of 42, today, if you actually look at it, I... I make sure that, yes, my desk does get messy. It's not that it doesn't get messy. My desk does get messy. My room does get messed up. Uh, my phone gets filled up with images and videos and downloads. And I'm just like you, okay? Even whether it's my inbox, whether it's my table, whether it's my desk, okay? Uh, even desktop. However, once every two days, uh, once every two days, I clean up everything. Okay, what do I mean by clean up is I delete. I don't save, I delete. I literally delete. Uh, I delete all the videos that I do not need. If I need, I upload them or I delete. I need to clear up space. I delete all the images. I upload them to Instagram or Facebook and I delete the rest. Um, I clear up everything on my desk. Literally remove everything. Remove everything, unplug the computer, everything, clean it up with alcohol, clean it up with a cleaning liquid, uh, and keep the bare bones, in, even the wires, everything else. Uh, in terms of my desktop, delete all the documents, everything. I, you would not believe, but uh, sometimes I think I delete up to like six to eight terabyte, not 
gigabyte, terabyte. Okay, that's like buying a, a full massive hard disk or a laptop uh, totally empty and filled with stuff. I delete that much because I'm a content creator. Then in terms of my room, all areas of my room, I remove the cupboard, uh, on the top, the dust, I clean the books because I have a lot of books and trophies. Okay, everything is cleaned up. And uh, like that's once a week and once a month, it's hardcore cleaning where even if something needs a paint job or needs to be fixed, I clean it up that way. Emails, everything has to be deleted or marked red. Um, uh, WhatsApp, everything is deleted. I just keep only, even the groups, I clear off the message so it's zero. Okay, uh, photographs, emails, images, videos. I even do this for my contact list. I do this for my desktop. I do this for my kitchen. I do this for my books. I do it for everything. Now, the reason for this is the more I clean, the more I keep things in order, the better my mind works. If you actually look at Toyota, go to any Toyota showroom, go to any Toyota workshop. It's written there very clearly you know, some of the principles, everything has a right place and do things right uh, the first time, you know. Um, and the reason for this is, if everything is in place, automatically you know where to look for things. If your tools are kept really clean, shiny, if your tools are well maintained and they are at the best performance, you will be able to do your work really well. Like if your iPhone is performing uh, to the best speed, if your computer is really fast, if uh, let's say your scooter is working really well uh, or your car is working perfectly, you don't have anything to worry. In fact, even when I go for my repairs, I don't go to a cheap shop. I go to the showroom. I go, sorry, I go to the authorized center. Now, obviously they take 20 to 30% higher, but I don't mind it because if I go to this guy, he will give me the original parts He'll give me service which for which he has been trained like a professional and he'll do a bang up amazing job. Okay, so just to save a few pennies, uh, I'm not going to risk my life. In fact, even the tires, uh, they have a habit of changing the tires when they are slightly old. I, I tell them replace and put brand new because I want my machine to work like brand new. So the the main gist of what I'm trying to tell you here is Make sure that everything is kept in order. It's very important. Keep everything in order properly. Make sure everything is perfect, spick and span. It should be perfectly clean. Uh, make sure that even if there is a mess, you clear up the mess. Delete everything that is not required. And ensure that when you start a new project or you start a new day, you start it being perfect. In fact, uh, if you are an employee, I would say before you leave your office, clean everything in your desk make it look perfect okay one hour before you go one hour before you leave the office everything is perfect all documents are destroyed everything is kept in order perfect so the next day when you come in you not only see a perfect desk you know what is where you have even a game plan what to do next and i'm sharing this with you uh, because this is a habit that is followed by people who you know, have peak performance, who really take care of themselves and who achieve success. So this is a productivity hack I thought I would just share with you. I hope this helps you. Do like the video if you enjoy it. Uh, put your comments down below, love to hear it. Let me know what are the different uh, claims or theories or urban legends that you heard, but which are false. And uh, if you have anything you'd like me to speak on, love to share it on the next video. Take care.